So now we're going to be examining the roles of the patella. It's got several roles. The first is called shock absorption. Secondly, it also plays a role in leverage. Third, it reduces uh, the friction of the joint. And fourth, it plays a role in anterior protection. And we're going to be examining how it actually uh, does each of these when we actually look at a free body diagram of uh, the, the knee area. So if I draw a picture of this area, I'll say this is uh, my femur coming in, I've got my tibia beneath that, my foot's you know, down here somewhere with my patella sitting just superior to the, the midline of the knee joint there. So the first thing it does in order to uh, create uh, this uh, shock absorption is that it helps to dispel a lot of the, uh, the forces that act on, uh, the, on the knee or the patella. Because the inside surface of the patella forms a little gliding plane joint. So it absorbs shock in a similar way that it reduces friction. So those items number one and three are heavily linked because this glides sort of, sort of back and forth or side on to allow a nice smooth action to take place in the knee. The other thing it does is it adds to leverage uh, of the quadricep muscles. So if I draw muscles onto this picture here, it looks like this. So the quadriceps coming down here at the front of the thigh, they link through the, uh, the patella tendon and attach at the tibial tuberosity just below the knee. So this is four very large uh, quadricep muscles. And what they actually do is it works much like a seesaw. If these muscles did come in like directly in line with that, there's nowhere near as much leverage as if you actually put a wedge, which is the patella, uh, to help increase the leverage or the pulling power of these quadricep muscles. It's best to think of it as a seesaw. If you want to pick something heavy up, you place a little bit of uh, something in there to create better leverage for these muscles to take, take place or go to work. The final role of the patera is in terms of an anterior protection because we've got a lot of uh, important ligaments in here and particularly uh, cruciate ligaments. You've got you know, an anterior cruciate ligament it's coming forward from the back of the knee to the front. You've got a posterior cruciate ligament. You've also got our fibrocartilage or our meniscus in the knee. So there's a lot of things in here that can be damaged. The patella plays a role of protecting uh, protecting the inside through just a nice sort of bony surface on the front protecting the inside of the knee from all the dangers of collisions and things which is rupturing or could displace anything inside this knee. So when we take a closer look at the actual patella in, uh, in this model, we can see the patella here lying inside this tendon, so the sesamoid bone being the patella, which is a bone found within a tendon. You can see this nice smooth shiny surface that's the gliding plane joint of the patella. So that patella sort of touches up and fits in this nice little groove that's from the femur and glides back and forth. And this is where the shock absorption and the reducing friction comes from. Without that patella, it'd literally be tendon, uh, just imagine tendon on bone here getting caught up on all these processes of the bone. Instead, nice gliding surface, so that's a frictionless based movement. Third, we can see here the uh, the, the, the tendon here for the quadriceps. So the quadriceps coming down the tendon and linking here at the tibial tuberosity just below the knee. So we can see a centralized, uh, centralized aspect of the quadriceps coming down through this single tendon. And this sort of wedge placed in between the knee, uh, or the femur and that tendon to improve the pulling power of the leverage of these quadriceps muscles. And finally, you've got that anterior protection we talked about. You can see the nice, all these uh, things inside. You've got the, the anterior uh, cruciate ligament. Further deeper, you've got the posterior cruciate ligament. And you've got the fibrocartilage of the meniscus. Uh, the way the patella works here is by placing a nice barrier in front. Obviously protects the inside of the knee from any uh, dangers coming at the knee from the anterior direction.